Hey guys, Mike and Brad here from Office of CISO. And today we're going to talk about what exactly a Security Operations Center Manager is and what they do. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about one of the most important roles within a information security office, uh, specifically the Security Operations Center. Um, and that is the Security Operations Center Manager. So, a Security Operations Center Manager, Brad, from your perspective, what do you see them doing? And uh, usually, as a CISO, what do you task yours with doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, the, the SOC Manager um, tends, to, tends to know the, the business side and the technical, like, logging and auditing side of it to understand what it is the SOC is looking for. So, they're trying to translate what the business does, what's important to the business, into what the SOC analysts are looking for in the SOC as far as um, as far as far attacks go. They, they're trying to help the, the SOC analysts understand where to focus and why those resources matter. Um, so you would say they need an intimate knowledge of the business as a whole. They yeah. kind of act like a, a liaison, if you will, between C-level leadership and the Technical cybersecurity folks, right? So. Yeah, if you think of it like the the business analyst uh, role that exists for application development, they're kind of like business analysts, but for security operations. So they help the CISO tie in, uh, you know, severity of threats or vulnerabilities or mm -hmm. things that are experienced across the attack surface. They they look at things from a technical standpoint to find out how much it would cost to mitigate that risk, right? And then they help the CISO sell that to a risk officer, whether or not it should be mitigated, accepted, or deferred. Yeah, and, and a lot of times they will, they'll be able to tell the business what the business needs when the business doesn't know they need it. Yeah. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. when, you're in, when you're working to translate business needs into SOC dashboards and SOC activities, a lot of times they'll have to help the business figure out what the business needs to do that. It, whether it be just what to look at and what to keep an eye on. Because obviously, yeah. uh, if you're working for an organization like Walmart, you know, your ordering systems and your logistics systems in general, those are going to be key points. Whereas if you're working for a power company, then your power plants are of utmost importance right. and things like that. So they help drive the focus of the security team or the operational security team and, and take things from there. So. Yeah. Uh, they're usually, um, I look for highly loyal people to be in those roles. Fair enough, yep. Uh, mainly because as a CISO, um, we tend to be stressed out anyways, mm -hmm. and we're having to talk to C-level leaderships. And <clears throat> every time I've hired a security operations center manager, I took someone that was probably a little bit more cool-headed than I was and put them in that role, but someone that had like a very strong loyalty to me, so if I ever did, like, vent or something right it, something take, that could take negatively they they understand that it's coming from love they're the just, ice to my fire type right. thing because lord knows that can be a stressful job so. <laughs> oh yeah yeah it can it can so, so that's a um security operations center manager it's kind of like the half in business half in operational technology and operational security standpoint from the information security office and uh they're one of the most essential roles in an ISO group. Yep. Um, you may also see that that role titled like uh, director of cybersecurity or something like that. Sometimes that that role can kind of bounce back and forth depending yeah. depending on the two. So, but yeah, that is the security operations center manager, um, an essential part of the ISO team. And if you're hiring one and you find a good one, hold on to them. Heck so. yeah, man. Pay them well. Treat them well. Absolutely. So hopefully this video provides you guys with some value. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so so you can get notifications whenever new videos come out. And of course, please don't hesitate to comment below in the comments section with either topics or things that you would like us to discuss with you specifically to help drive your information security knowledge and, and maybe even teach us a thing or two. So until next time.